Joining me now, California Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff, chair of the House Intelligence Committee. Awfully glad to see you, sir. Thank you for joining me. I'm curious what went through your mind when you heard about this sentence commutation and what do you think is behind the president's support of his good friend Roger Stone? Well, you know, what occurred to me, I think, is probably what occurred to most Americans, that if you lie for the president, if you cover up for the president, if with you withhold information uh, that could incriminate the president, he will protect you. He will make sure that, unlike other people, you don't have to go to jail. Uh, there are now two standards of justice in this country, one for the criminal pals of the president and one for everybody else. So, you know, as someone who came out of the Justice Department, I served there nearly six years uh, with the U.S. attorneys in L.A., it's uh, heartbreaking uh, on the one hand, but it's uh, more than that. It's also so destructive of the independence of the Justice Department and the whole rule of law in this country. Do you think there was any chance that uh, this thought went through the president's mind that were he not to have commuted Roger Stone's sentence, that Roger Stone could, you know, as they say, sing like a canary, uh, reveal things about the president that he didn't want revealed? I think that's absolutely the case. And if there were any doubt about it, Roger Stone certainly made it abundantly clear in his appeal for a commutation or a pardon, where he basically said, hey, I kept my mouth shut, my mouth shut. Uh, I could have spilled the beans. Uh, and so, yes, uh, that's certainly a, a motivation. Donald Trump knows what Roger Stone knows about him. Uh, in fact, uh, part of what Mueller found is that the president's statements may very well have been false uh, in answer to questions from the special counsel on the subject of Roger Stone. So, yes, I think that's certainly motivation. I also think, Alex, part of the motivation here, as bizarre as it may seem, is the president wants to distract at all costs from the growing and horrendous death toll uh, of the coronavirus, the, the deadly incompetence uh, of this administration. Uh, and he'd rather talk about the scandal of his commuting the sentence of uh, someone convicted on all counts by a jury of mm. lying for him. So I think, you know, this is also part of his effort to change the subject from his mishandling of this deadly pandemic. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.